First here at 10 o'clock, the family of the man killed by a Tulsa County Reserve Deputy is asking for some transparency. Reserve Deputy Bob Bates was working the perimeter during an undercover sting operation April 2nd. When the department says the suspect, Eric Harris, ran from and began to fight with the deputies trying to arrest him. They say Harris ran toward Bates, who says he meant to use his taser, but pulled and fired his gun by mistake. Harris's family wants to see the video of that, but News on 6 reporter Allison Harris explains why the sheriff's office can't release it or won't release it just yet. Allison? Scott and Lori Bates' attorney says Bates was wearing a taser on his chest, his gun on his belt. The attorney says in the video you can hear Bates yell, taser, taser, and grab for his gun, showing that his intent was really to grab his taser. The Harris family says that might be true, but they just want to see this video to prove it. 16-year-old Aiden Fraley is without his dad. Sweet, nice, forgiving, thoughtful. He would, he would do anything for anybody. Eric Harris's death could have been an accident. Tulsa County Deputy Bob Bates says he shot Harris when he grabbed his gun instead of his taser. The man representing the Harris family thinks it may be excessive force. There's a lot that we know about what happened to Eric Harris, but there's a lot that we don't know. Attorney Daniel Smolin says there's surveillance video from the Dollar General in North Tulsa where it happened, and he wants to see it. He also wants video from a deputy who wore a camera on his glasses. I want to know the truth on what happened um, and all the videos that they say they have. How come they haven't been released and when will they be released? The Tulsa County Sheriff's Office won't release video because it's an investigation. Bates could be charged. Bates' attorney, Scott Woods, says the video will prove it was an accident. The video won't answer every question for Harris's brother, Andre. And what kind of gun did Bob Bates use? That's my question. Uh, was he trained in how to use this weapon? Did Eric have a weapon on him at the time that he was killed? The family brought pictures to their press conference Thursday. Images of a life lost during an undercover gun deal that deputies say turned into a fight, then shooting when Harris tried to run away from deputies. And deputies say that they've offered to talk to the family, but the family has declined those offers. Deputies also say that the family has not asked them any of the questions that they asked us. The district attorney's office is expected to get the investigative report tomorrow, and the video could be released after that. Allison Harris, News on 6.